Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 9 of Cracking the CSWE. In this video, we're going to be looking at some very advanced surface modifications you can make to the surfaces you have inside of SolidWorks. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be reminded of any future videos. And with that out of the way, let's just jump right into the video. The part we have here is a dumb model. That is to say, we don't have a feature tree, it's just a solid body import. That means that editing this part will be tougher than regular. When editing parts like this, it's common practice and necessary, usually, to convert it to a surface body while the edits are made. Let's say that we need to have this handle move to be pointing straight up. What we need to do is first isolate the geometry, rotate it, then patch it all up. First, let's take a look at the angle that the handle is relative to the upward position. To do this, we can turn on temporary axes, then use the measure tool between the front plane and the temporary axes on the handle. The angle is 35 degrees. Now the next step is isolating the handle geometry. We can delete the common face between the base and the handle, which is this face here. When we delete it, without using the patch option, it converts the solid body into two surface bodies, which we can verify with the section view. There is no volume to the part. Now that the handle is isolated, we can rotate it to the upward position. We can use the Move Bodies tool under the Direct Editing tab and then rotate the surface body 35 degrees around the axes the body is based around. Now that the handle is pointing towards the upwards position, half of our job is done. Next, we can add back in the surface we deleted by using a lofted surface. We can select the two edges here as the profiles, and then we can use the edges on the side for a guide curve. Now, if we hide the bottom face surface, we can see that the new surface we created and the handle surface overlap. This will become an issue when we try to knit the surface together. What we can do is use the Trim Surface button. We will select the Mutual option, as we want to find the surfaces that are mutual to each other. We can then select the two surfaces we have, and then under the Surfaces to Trim, the surface we want to trim, here. Make sure to select the Remove Selections option, so it's removed and not kept. Then we're done with patching up the new surfaces we've made. To complete this, we can then turn the view option for the bottom surface on, and then use the knit surfaces with the create solid and merge entities options on. Don't worry about any gap tolerance as there are no gaps in these surfaces we've made. We can again use the section view to now confirm the model is a solid body. We could use the mass properties to view whatever we need to know, which would probably be either the center of mass or some other property when it comes to the CSWE exam. Thank you so much for watching episode 9 of Cracking the CSWE. In the next video, we're going to be looking at some more complex weldment design and some really cool things you can do with weldments inside of SOLIDWORKS. So, I'll see you in that video.